Hey, I'm the Calphone Gamer. Welcome back to PCM21. It's Stage Racer. We're on episode 65, and we are at the San Sebastian. So the tour of San Sebastian. And uh, my objective today was to get in the break and to finish in the top 50. I think I have a good shot at accomplishing both of those goals. Even if we're caught, I should have enough energy left to finish in the top 50. If we're not caught, I love my chances of winning. It was originally a group of five that broke away, but before we got the full two minutes away, continued attempts to attack led to five more riders getting away. It was at 10, but as the gap was opening up, I thought it served my purpose well to over this climb, push a little bit harder, open that gap a little bit further, and we dropped one rider as a result. Now we're at we're nine. Thin that out. Next time we hit this nine. next climb, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. And we'll push a little bit through there and make it a little bit harder. Not in any sort of way that's going to make it harder myself, but in a way that could thin these guys out by one or two riders There's and try to open that gap pack. back up a the little bit to give road. ourselves a little bit of a chance. We're going to hit this climb for the first of two times that we're coming up on here momentarily. And when everybody else backs off, I'm going to speed up. 75 to 81 right now. These guys are pushing hard, so let them. For me, this is easy. It's going to do some damage. You can already see a group five out of the nine have backed up and don't want to contribute anymore. More this guys ready to contribute now. Up in the tempo. Up. Okay, this is good. This is where it's going to start to do some damage. Guaranteed there's going to be a guy or two at the back of this. And for me, I haven't really had to do anything at all. For me, this is a pretty easy climb. I never did actually get to the front of this thing. We drop one rider. And we easily maintain our gap over the field. Sit back up. Go to rest mode. Recovery away, mode here on the, the climb. Speed. And I'm 75% of the day's objective now. Of course, we'll need not just 17k more. We'll need 34k oh my, to get the maximum uh, XP on the day for uh, for working at the front, for being in the front. That is 80k to go. We'll get water. We'll need it one more time after this. That's easy when you're on the front. It takes just a split second. Okay, I'm fully recovered, so we'll get back into the mix, but where I'm most useful is on the climb. I love it that those guys wanted to push hard this time because they're going to dig deep. And for me, that wasn't that hard of a climb, so it sets me up well to do something going forward. Not good on the flat, so I need to contribute on the climb. There we go. That's two-thirds of the race behind us. All right, so we've got a short climb coming up here in a moment. And we'll see There's no how that more one carries out. You can see we've really picked back. up the pace. But the we're also down to a minute 45. 100% of the objective the has now been met. It's definitely going to be harder to, to stay away at this point as the uh, peloton's coming on pretty hard, pretty fast. 128 left. Yeah, now it's starting to split up a little bit more, including, that was what, eight riders dropped? Three of the eight riders that just got dropped are my teammates. I don't think they're going to be able to do what they did last time, push as hard for as long. All right, here we go, on to the climb. Only a minute 20 from the chasing peloton, and still 115 riders. Sucks, but we'll see where we're at by the top of this thing. A I would imagine. Yeah, see, nowhere they near as hard on the tempo, the and group. we've already lost 30 seconds. So let's get to the front. Let's show them what a climb is like. See who can hang with me. We've already opened it back up, and now the peloton trying to chase us down finally starts to split up. And they're pushing a lot harder than we are. Several riders are on the ground. And I'm down to six. The lead over the pack and is down to 30 the seconds. The pace is really hot, so for and the moment, I'm solo. <laughs> and now it's just going to be a chase of four, 41. 
I'll get caught here in a moment. Let's let's wait for that group to catch me. That'll guarantee my top 50, by the way. And I did get to 100%. I don't know if I've gotten the extra, not quite. What was it? Extra 17 that we needed. Need six more a K. Can we get that on the descent? Can we get the water before we get caught too? Get that part taken care of. It'd be nice to stay alive on the descent for a little bit longer. Here's the little flat part. So we go a little lower. I'm going to use my uh, acrobatic descent to try to stay out a little bit longer. Get those few kilometers ticked off. Okay, you want to get steep enough so I can click on this, please? Please? Seven and a half percent. Our rider has a flat tire. Not enough. Hope he has helped out quickly. Okay, it wasn't enough. Down to thirty seconds. Go arrow, please. Just ride easy. Let them catch up to me. We did an extra, I think, three k. Ah, that's enough. That's enough. That's eighteen over. So back off a little more. Myself recover myself get caught and we're already looking at a top 42 finish and then with the recovery Pedersen the only comparable one that I could take a look at at the moment and there you go we're caught it's not work just sit on obviously with 42 there's plenty of contenders left and I'm gonna be weaker I mean you know, look at Pedersen, look at me, I'm not getting the recovery here. But only two short climbs left, so I should still be in contention. And as good of a climber as I am, good of a puncher as I am, I definitely should not be at the back of the 4 day 2 riders. But how high can we get? Can we get a top 10? Eh, maybe. I'd say unlikely on the top 10, but I'd say we should definitely be in line for a top 25. This climb is feared okay, by just many climb riders. At the 85. The are very high. Let these guys drain themselves over this climb. It's gonna Another allow me to group. cover a lot of that ground. And now There's it's split. Breakaway. We've got three off the front plus 28. So 31 left in contention. Now we're definitely looking towards the top 25. Pedersen's still here, but I'm pretty tired. That's why I was saying I'm not looking too likely to uh, have a great finish here. I actually should have had a plus two today. Uh, that did not happen, and this section over the flat alone, that's uh, going to hurt me. I'm not sure if I'm going to get that top 25. I'm not going to beat Godu. I'm not going to beat Roglic. These guys, look how fresh they are. Matthews is probably pretty dangerous, too. Oh yeah, yeah they're looking good. Plus three for him, Hagita. So we're gonna go backwards. We are gonna go backwards. In fact, I'm already fading without anyone to uh, offer protection. I'm gonna be one of the first riders dropped when we hit this climb. Only 15 kilometers left. And I'll be in that next group behind it. So hopefully, there's 10 riders dropped. So that way I still have a small chance at a top 25, but right at the base of the climb, I'm going to get dropped off. So see you later. Oh, Patterson falls. Oh, but he took three riders with him. It's the first steep part, and I'm out the back. There's at least 24 riders ahead of me. Make that 25. There goes Pedersen. Oof. Wow, he got up fast. Well, that means I'm very much at the back end here. The riders are entering the last five kilometers of the stage. Get a little recovery on here. Then seven inch. Wow. He was doing some work at the front, but remember I was off off the front for the whole day. By okay, 3K. 3K to go to the finish. And these guys are coming up on the finish line. And it's a superb sprint. Matthews takes the win ahead of Roglic. Velids, Godu, Kovi, Bernal, Tullet, Benut. 
I went a little too early on my sprint there, which is why I was just on effort up instead of sprint. But you see how that got me ahead of those two chasers. 29th. 29th. I was aiming for top 25. Uh, I figured the top 10 was a bit unrealistic. And the, the energy remaining after being in the break all day was very clearly not going to be enough. I only had plus two, plus one to the stamina resistance and spent the whole day in the breakaway. So it makes perfect sense that by the end there, I was pretty exhausted. It also makes sense that I didn't have a whole lot after this climb as I pushed to try to keep the gap. And as I went near the top, A, the peloton had chased me down. And so they burnt up guys to do that where I was the one who went up that climb, leaving the breakaway behind. Gap was too close. Like, our only chance of winning was right there. That was our chance of winning, but the peloton way, way too close, especially by the end of that. Nothing we could do about it at that point other than just try to hang on. We hung on through the first climb, well, penultimate climb, but by the time we reached the, the, the final climb, that flat sector did me in because I'm just too weak on the flat. Makes sense. It's the right result. And good on Matthews for getting getting the sprint win. A guy who can climb a bit, but is definitely a sprinter. I like Matthews. We've reached August the first, and right now there is no Hoggins Berman team come next season. There's zero riders. So this could be the end of the line. Uh, very well could be. A, parameters of this playthrough is I'm sticking with one team. I did get that one team all the way to the World Tour. That's good. But I also destroyed the team. A continental team that just did not have the budget to retain me. And I'm assuming that when they sign me in October they'll still have no riders. But we'll keep an eye on this one and see if they are able to sign anyone because I might literally be the only rider left on the team for next season. Yeah, we're, we're not going to try to solo our way through, through the calendar. I don't think we would be in World Tour anymore if I'm the only one based on, on the fact that, you know, it's your top three riders that determines your placement. That might put us all the way back down to Continental. In which case, I would win everything Continental, but we would have zero World Tour races. What's the point? And so I've pushed forward to the Vuelta a Burgos, and we're already on stage three out of five in this race. Stage one was punchy, but it wasn't really punchy. I was in a group of about 20 that all finished on same time. I was at the back end of that. AI always does that to you anyway, and I'm not terribly punchy. Now here in terms of climbers, as this is the first of two climbing stages, the last one being the fifth and final stage, uh, we still have some breakaway riders to catch as we head into the final climb uh, with 20k to go in the stage. I need water, but we'll have to either get that on the climb itself uh, or just wait to the finish line. Uh, and not do it. But anyway, 8k, 9% for that final climb. And there's really only two strong climbers here, Pagacha and myself. I have a minus two race day condition. He has a minus three race day condition. One to watch out for, though, Ida Schelling. Ida Schelling leads there the race right now as a puncher. Left. He did really good. And he has a plus five race day condition. So you would imagine, I don't know exactly what it gives him, but you would imagine between the bonus for the difficulty and the plus five race day condition he's got to be 80 plus in his mountain rating so you have to watch out for him and because both uh, of our two overall favorites both of us have negative race day conditions and nobody else is strong climbers i should still be favored for a top two on the stage should but you know maybe not uh, we're down to two riders left off the front we're down to 63 this is not a big race and you can really see it with four and a half K to go here. At this point, I'm just kind of looking for when and where is the move? Where is uh, Pagacher and why has he not come along just yet? In fact, I'm curious. Where is he? 
Alright, here's Ruben Guerrero, who sits fourth overall. Let's go ahead and observe. Yeah, he's still fresh. There's Pikachu here. Maybe I need to attack. 4k to go. Gel up. Let's wait a little bit, see what happens with that. Give ourselves a little bit of time. We are halfway through the climb, so we're into the steepest areas of it. Myself well poised. Is Fabro trying to attack? He's not, but I want to follow him right now. I can't follow him. There's... There's the attack coming. This time it could go all the way! The escapees have surrendered! The pack gave them no chance! Still 57. There was no escape on that one. There's Pagatcher. D3. Shelling. There's that endless energy. Okay, 85. Climb at my pace. And we're down to the top nine. Fabro goes clear a little bit. Pagatcher pulling the tempo. Shelling. Climbing well, 1k to go. And some of those guys are starting to sit up a little bit. We're down to 6. 500 meters. Sprint for the line. That yellow bar is going to have to try to carry me. Looks like headed for third. Pagasher, can he get Fabro? Fabro's sitting up, but I'm not sure he's got it. He's got it. He'll have it. He'll, he's still got it. Fabro really takes the stage ahead of Pagasher. I'm going to get third, so I do get a time bonus. Sheppy gets fourth. Shelling at his plus five is fifth. And there's eight riders at the line. And now we're looking at a gap here of 27 seconds to the chasers. And that's just three riders. And 40 seconds to the next group. This will separate the field into a top eight. And with that time bonus, I should be sitting about third place. We've got one mountain stage to go. With Schelling's time bonus, uh, he should still be ahead of me. So I think I might be about fourth. Yeah, good call on the fourth place. Pigatcher leads as he was second overall. On uh, that punchy stage, he took second. Schelling and Fabro are tied. They've both had 10 second time bonuses. And then myself with the other time bonus uh, puts me in a strong fourth place. Verona, Sheppy, the only ones from that original stage one group to still be on same time. The others, Gomez and Manguzi, had lost a little bit of time on stage one. Therefore, the field is fairly well spread out already. And we have one mountain stage to go. I don't know what the profile is like, but let's get straight into that last stage. And we're into the final stage. Shelling, no plus five today. He's on a zero race day condition, so I expect him to fall away, opening up a podium position. Pagatcher, minus one. Just like my minus one. Yes, again, a negative race day condition. Uh, my fitness peak did just end the uh, in the last 24 the hours so i do not have the plus one line. that i had on paper lead. so overall that's a minus four point. draw on the two mountain stages that i've participated in uh, com compared to what was expected as we had a plus one but drew minus two so minus not three overall nice. today to anyway uh, not not good but let's see if we can overcome that None of the contenders look great on on what they have as we enter this final climb. Nobody looks terribly strong today. So I suspect we can finish fairly well on this one. You can see this one is tail end is where it definitely line. gets tougher. Uh, but Jones is about to fall away. I, I do have team support today. Where is power? Okay, powers and Camargo are here. So let's let's do this. Get you up on me and see you later. Uh, powers is that little bit closer. We can use Watch him out. first to at least at give back. me temporary cover. It's a lot steeper. Th uh, sorry, a lot more gradual of an ascent through here. So powers at least can give me a little bit of of cover. 
93 in the peloton only a single rider off the back so far but you can see jones and powers yeah they're not gonna last too long garrison blickra too far back to be a factor and camargo has made it up here and will now take over as jones is already fading down to 88 riders i've got some support for a little while that's good Set fourth overall in a race where I think my biggest enemy obviously is Pagatcher, but if I finish second, I think I'd be pretty happy with that. And he does not have anybody up supporting him right now. And he's got the minus one as well. Gives me a small chance in this thing anyway. We're down to 3.8k. So I'm going to go ahead and gel up now. Here's Kevin Rivera making a move. I think that's Rivera anyway. It is. So Camargo. At the front. He could go all the way. Transcend. And give me your up tempo. Gatcher's the one that is the main threat, but there you go. He has not gotten away, so Camargo back off a little. He's definitely not as strong of a climber. Him in 88 is probably about an 85 for me now with 2k to go. Down to 11 riders. Camargo just split off the field and has opened the doorway with 1.8k for me to give a small attack. I know one rider who can go with me, but can the others? And they keep on attacking. 11 Anyone seconds clear with 1k to go. To keep up. Climb our pace now. And let's look behind. Rivera chasing. Is that Pagatcher in the purple? I think it is. Under 1k. 17 seconds clear. 900 meters. Pagatcher has caught, caught up to me. Gatcher has caught me. He doesn't want to work, really. 400 meters. Okay, sprinted out for the line. Spread. Come on, come on, come on. Well, it's going to be a top two. We got that secured. And we got the stage win. Got the stage win. All right. Now, he picks up another six seconds, which means I'm only going to gain four on him. He's still going to win the overall. Without winning any stages. He's taken... He's taken second three times. Two sprint stages, one punchy, two mountain stages. Mountain stages. You know, hilltop finishes. <laughs> Steep hilltop finishes. More like it, but... Three second places for him is going to net an overall win. But for me, it's a third and a first. And no podium in the other one. That adds up to 14. Three second places, 6, 12, 18. He's going to win by four seconds. And we pulled a gap on everybody else. I made the right move at the right time. Camargo, if he could have hung on for another 100 meters, another 200 meters, maybe 300 meters, that probably would have been enough for me to hold a gap over Pagatcher and not have to sit up and wait to go in the last 400 meters. Uh, probably would have been enough to continue right on to the finish line. But hey, stage win, second overall. Yeah, we were 14 seconds clear of the chasers. See what happens when I only have a minus one instead of a minus two, <laughs> that much stronger. Yeah, there's your four second difference. It is a podium finish though, I'll take it, it's good. KOM tied for second with Pagatcher. Pinedo takes the win in that as a breakaway rider. Points classification, we were seventh. I do get the under 25s at least. That'll be worth some points. I did level up uh, after that last stage, by the way, and we're already a quarter of the way through the next. It was just a skill point, though. We're on level 27 now. That is going to do it for this episode, though. We do come away at least with another victory to our name and beating Pagatcher to the line who is much punchier than we were a minus one each somehow was enough for me mostly because I actually had a little team support 
Camargo gave me a lead out, set me up for that. Wasn't quite enough to get me what I needed to get that four seconds, but it was enough otherwise. It was enough to get stage win. Decathlon Gamer, like, comment, subscribe. See you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. Bye for now.